Okay, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a few rounds. Okay, cool. I'll do a little bit of Picross. <laughs> no Tetris. Okay, so this game is called Picross. It's there's many forms of it. Just think of it as like a variant of uh, Sudoku. So this is pretty straightforward. Um, so what the game is is you have a grid like this. In this case, it's a five by five. Oh, it's a five um, by five board, right? And what these numbers will tell you is the number of things you can chisel consecutively. So in this case, we have a five on the top left, which means that we only have five. We only have five call. We only have five one by one. So by that logic, we know for a fact that all five fit. Likewise, for these two horizontal rows right here, um, we know that you can click all five because it tells you that all five, or that there's a consecutive length of five that needs to be filled in. Now for here, there's a one and then a space and then a three. A space is at least one block, so one plus at least one plus three is five. So we know that that's the only thing that works. Now if we look up here, um, it says that there's a three, so we can do, we know that all three have been chiseled in, so we can eliminate these because those won't apply, likewise for here. We know for this three that since there isn't anything here, the sequence has to be one, two, three. A <laughs> P-spin triple. So that's pretty much it. Does, does that kind of make sense? He will spin the T's. Alright, we'll do a 15 by... We'll do a larger one. Okay. Wait, I literally was just doing this one, and then we lost it. I am... We'll do 62. <laughs> you guys are so cool. Okay, the game's adventure. So some of you guys grew up with Picross. Okay, so some of the things you want to look for are the really large numbers or known quantities. So anything that is like, if you have a single number that's larger than nine and, or larger than or eight or larger, then you know what you can do. So here's how you apply some math if you guys are going to play this on your own. So we have 15 here, right? And then we know for a fact that there are nine. Uh, there's like a sequence of nine that we know. So 15 minus nine is six. So that six number is gonna come back to this process. Nine minus six is three. So we know for a fact that we know exactly where three of the numbers are, or three of the chiseled blocks are. One, two, three. And the reason why we know this is because we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We know that in that scenario that these three fit. And if we went the other direction, the other extreme would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We know that that also works. So these three blocks we know for a fact are gonna be chiseled in no matter what. Now we can work these three columns. Um, so this has a one to start off with, one, one, two, two, one. So we know for a fact that that doesn't work. These have twos to start off with. So we can do this and this, and that's how we can get that. So that's, that's our starting point. Um, we know this is gonna be a three, a sequence of three, and, there, and this two, one, three, one, one. The reason why is because if we started, with, if this was a two, there would be two space, one space, three space, one, one. But we know that can't fit, so we can do that and then do this. So that's one of our starting points that we have to work on this board. <laughs> is this too nerdy for you guys? Um, I'm just like looking for other good starting points here. So this is a pretty good one because the numbers are um, the numbers are large. So if we add the added the numbers um, together, it's two plus two plus four plus one plus one. So that is ten. But we know that there are four um, gaps in between the four numbers. So we know that there are fourteen blocks that uh, um, that we can accommodate for. So 15 minus 14 is one, and that's the unknown in this column. 
2 minus 1 is 1, so we know for a fact that this is 1. So if we go 2, blank, 2, we know that this one is also filled. Blank, 4, so 2, blank, 2, blank, 4. And that's what we get here. I <laughs> did damn near, uh, you get used to it over time. It's like a little bit complicated, but um, you get used to it. You just try to use as many clues as you can. So three is here. This is a one. And you know for a fact that this can't be, this sequence is exactly one. So we have, we can fill that in. It's like 10 bucks, but there are variations of this that are free online. Like you can, there's like web based versions that are free. I paid $10 for this because I won that Tetris contest. Um, <laughs> fuck this game. Um, this one is a definitive. So one plus two plus seven plus one is, wait, that's not a definitive. That's 11 plus three gaps. So we know for a fact that we can do one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Yeah, fun is overrated. I'm trying to get my inner ZFG here. We know, okay. So now in this sequence, we know that this is the four, and but we have two ones after this. One of them are here, and we have no other room for that one. We ha where does it go? Where does it go, guys? Well, well, my friends, we have to put it right here. Right in that happy corner here is the one. Ooh, it turned black. I am Vanna White here. Okay, so we know that this has to be one. Now we can fill in some information here, guys. So on one hand, if we know that there's only one sequence of seven here, if we went the extreme of going left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so this is the farthest left it can go, is that one blue flashing block here. Which means that these five blocks here, there's no way it can fit there. Now knowing this, um, we, we can know for a fact that in all situations that these four blocks are going to be in the sequence of seven. That even if it started here, or if it started here, um, these four blocks are universally going to be used. It's like blues, blues. All right, so we know that this is a sequence of one followed by a sequence of two. So we can fill that in. <laughs> you guys are so funny. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying this. Okay, two, one, four. So we know for a fact that if the four starts here, it could go one, two, three, four, but it may not start here, it may start here. So we know that these two are definitely filled for the sequence of four. But we don't know if it starts here or starts down here. So it's going to be a little bit ambiguous. Well, ooh, we have a number seven here. If it started here, we can go one, two, three. Good night, Eric. Four, five, six, seven. So we know that these four blocks are in the presence of that seven, no matter what. Okay, um, let's see, what else can we eliminate here? Two plus, I, I can't count right now. Like I'm like, math is like way too hard for me. Math is too hard. Wait, you know where one goes for real this time? Okay, let's see, two plus four, seven, Wait, two, three, six, eight, nine, ten. Wait, this whole row is figured outable because it's all 15 are accounted for. Two plus one plus three plus two plus one. Why didn't I why didn't I do the math on that? The TAFO sets were off. Okay, since uh, these are ones, I can put ones on the opposite side. The TAFO sets are off, guys. All right, we know for a fact that this is a part of it too, because this is one. The bottom seven.
six. Hmm. What do I do here? You got it figured it out. Okay, cool. I figured this one out. Um, so there's no way that this is not the one. Um, this has to be a one. Okay, what else can we figure out here, Go, guys? All right. Um, all right, one, one, two, one, two. Okay, there's no other combination for this. Um, just counting the math. The game is too... <laughs> Alright, we'll play Tetris after this, I promise. Alright, since this is the only three, this is YouTube-worthy. It's painting Pick Ross with Bob Ross. I have another row that adds up to 15. Does this row add up to 15? Let's see. 3, 6, 8, 9, 10. This actually does. Um, we can go ahead and do this. Okay, awesome. And the 211311 also adds up to 15. Wait, no, it doesn't. It adds up to 14. Because we still have ambiguity here. But coincidentally, we had a stopgap here. Doesn't Because there's five gaps, there's not six gaps. But coincidentally, um, we know that the last piece, the last unknown is just deciding this. So it all ended up working out. Okay, we figured out this is a three, so we can put gaps here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and if we went right two, then that's six and seven, so we know that that has to be an empty block. Um, all right, one and five, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so the interesting thing here is that if we want to put two ones down here, that's the max capacity, right? Um, let's say there were two ones here. Then we'd have a one, five, one in the top nine spots. But I think that's the only combination that works here. All right, yeah, that exactly works. This is a sequence of nine, so we can connect this. We get one, two, three, four, five, six. We can eliminate this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this six here, seven, eight, nine. So we can cancel out these two. Two, one, three, one. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere, guys. Um, okay. Since we know that the three comes at an end here, and we have a block here, we know for a fact this is not three. We know that this four ends here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We know this has to be a two, and this is a one. We can connect these. We can end this. We can connect this. All right, there's a one and a two left. So we have one, one, two, one, one, two. This has to be a one, since it's a sequence of two. And then we have an endpoint of a one here. So this is six, so there's no way that this can be one. Um, this is a 311, but there's no other spot to put the first three, so this has to be the three. We have a sequence of five here, so we can cut this off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we know that this one is definitely. I can do the first part of the second row. Can I? The second row from the top? Let's see, this can be eliminated too. This is a one, oops. <laughs> it's a little bit ambiguous still, I feel like. This last four can be done. Um, the four has to be here and it occupies the middle three no matter what. Let's see, one, 
Um, we need one more one, which could be here, here, so I can't definitively prove it. I can put this here. One, three, one. <laughs> you just like to finish the picture if it looks right. I think that's like a really baller strategy. Okay, so this is kind of interesting and I'm gonna explain the logic here. Um, you can't, if this last part occupies, because this piece is here, um, it goes one, two, three as the max possibility. So we know that that can't be existing. But because there's four slots here now for three blocks, we know the middle two have to be a part of it. So we can cut off the endpoint here. We can do that. Um, this is a one, four, one. So we can do one, two, three, four. We can finish this row off. Pretty good information there. This is a one, so we can end that. And the one has to be here. This is a two, so we can end that there. We need a one and a two. Um, it'd be, unfortunately, this could be a one and a two, so I can't one, one, one. This actually has to be right here. This is the one. So two, one, two, one, one. Okay. That's a seven. We know that this is one. We know that's a one. So we need another one, and that's this is the only spot it occupies. So we have a two, two, one, one, and we have a one. We have four independent blocks, so we know that this has to be the sequence. All right, this. All right, we can close this row. So we have a two in a, in a stack of three, so the middle one has to be it. Likewise, this has to be the two, because that's the only spot that two can go in. Since we're starting off with a one here, there's no other combination that works. We have to cut this off, and then we have a three here. This row is done, which is nice. Things are coming together, guys. Okay. We know that this is a long sequence of nine, so therefore this can't be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, things are looking good. We can fill up that row. This has to be two. We can end this up. So this is, just given how this is laid out with the 214, we have a strand of four here and a strand of five. So this has to be the four. And the two and the one have to come here. There's no other way to do it. So that's how that's one is done. This is it. This is that. Ooh, that's really juicy information. There's that. And then one, two, three, four, five. This one has to be there, so we can close this row. This can be that, and then this is that. This looks like a telephone of some sort. Okay, let's see, what are we missing here? One, 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 four, so that's no longer a thing. That has to be there. This has to be a two. This nine has to be there. Um, Let's see. One, two, one. Gosh damn it, I messed up somehow. Oh, I'm I'm really stupid. It it was just this. I'm so dumb. How did I miss that up? That's dumb. Now it's going to indicate